Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Gear and Gadget Reviews. I am Brian, and sticking with the theme of solar panel review week, I've got another 120 watt solar panel to review that came from Elecanta. Yeah, Elecanta, 120 watt panel. Let's get this thing opened up. Directions. Similar to most panels, you know, it comes, this is a foldable panel that's got buckles that you have to undo to, to open it up. So let's get this box out of the way. Very rough, in, in a good way. Durable canvas material. On the back, it does have a zippered pouch. Let me show you what, what comes with this particular solar panel. So right off the bat, let's get that out of the way first. You, they send you 10 barrel adapters to, to fit into multiple different power stations, whatever you're gonna be trying to charge. So you've got 10 of these things to choose from. And you've also got a an Anderson, some type of barrel adapter, I'm not sure what size that is, and then an XT60 to plug into, you know, again, a battery station, whatever you're gonna be using. It's just more options to plug the solar panel into something. And it also comes with your actual MC4 solar panel connections as well. And these things are going to plug into this cord that is hardwired into the panel. And again, this one's again, has got a nice long, DC cord, which I like, because it means you don't have to keep your, from in my case, your battery so close out in the sun to the solar panel. So this thing's got, you know, your, your standard looks like 5521 barrel adapter, and these are going to, this is going to plug into all of these that they send you just like so, and then you're going to plug the end of whatever adapter you choose into your battery or whatever you're gonna be charging it up to. For example, this, plug this in, and I've got a 2000 watt battery station that takes an XT60. So I would plug this in into my battery and let all the solar panel juice flow through this wire into my battery. It basically comes with pretty much anything that you're gonna need to plug into something. You've got a pretty good array of multiple different adapters to use. And they do send you, looks like, four carabiners. And we'll go over what these are used for here in just a second. But this unit also has some ports that you can plug in directly to this solar panel. So you've got a quick charge USB 3.0 port. You've got a 45 watt power delivery port and also a 5521 port that you can plug directly into this solar panel. So let's say you have a quick charge power delivery cord with a lightning connector on one end. You can plug that cord directly into this, plug your phone into the other end, and you can charge your phone directly from this power station. You don't even need to use this cord to plug it into a battery, then plug your phone into the battery. You just need to plug your phone directly into this. Charge your, your laptop. With that power delivery 45 watt port, that giving you have proper sun, you're gonna get a, enough wattage to charge something like a MacBook or a laptop or something with, that needs higher draw to, to begin charging, you can use that port that's already installed on this box right here. So get, with that out of the way, so just a quick few specs over this unit before we actually start testing it because that's what you guys wanna see. Again, here's some grommet holes on the top and then once it's unfolded, on the other end and you can use these these carabiners to you know hang from a fence hang from luggage carriers on top of your truck wh wherever you, you see the fit to actually hang this unit from if it is doable with the sun angle and all that good stuff but you can hang this up and it does come with these four carabiners to do so and this is etfe monocrystalline panels appear to be very nice so far this thing is it looks very very rugged it is 12 pounds total it is for a length a total of 65 inches long by 20 inches wide so it's not crazy big it does have two kickstands only two this time i really wish it would have come with four for each panel but since this thing's not crazy long i'm thinking on the end and on this middle panel you'll kind of be able to still adjust it properly enough. I wish it would have come with four kickstands because it just seems to provide a little more um, rigidity and sturdiness to these panels. So this one only comes with two of these kickstands right here on two panels. Get this thing flipped over again and get you a closer view of these panels. And this is IPX5 water resistant. So don't put this thing out in the rain. You know, don't, don't throw it in the lake and think it's gonna work, because it won't. 
IPX5 is basically in case you have a glass of water and you're walking past the sink and you spill the water on the panels, it'll be fine. Definitely do not get any of these guys in this bag, especially this, this, this controller box. Don't get this wet because that will short circuit this thing. So just be careful when you're using this is that it's not waterproof, water resistant to an IPX5 rating. They claim this is 24% efficient. That's a very, very salty claim. Uh, we'll test it out as soon as I get better sun, but, but on their website, they're claiming this, this panel in perfect conditions has a 24% efficiency rating. You know, your max power output's 120 watts, which you'll never get, but that's what is on the specs of this thing, and it produces 18 volts. Okay, so that's basically it for the boring specs. So I say I take this thing out to the backyard. I'm going to wait for noon or 1 o'clock sun directly overhead. Hopefully we have no clouds to give this thing a fair shake, give it a true wattage output test to see what this thing can can give me and again so far guys this this it, it, it appears very 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 well made um it just feels good i know that sounds really weird but it it, it feels very solid and these panels are are very nice so hopefully they produce a lot of watts okay folks so sorry for the wind the wind chimes and all the cicadas but I've got perfect one o'clock sun right above ahead, so I'm not gonna use the kickstands. I'm gonna lay this thing flat out. So that is not getting any shade on it whatsoever. I'm going to plug this into my battery unit and hopefully show you guys how many watts this thing creates. Wow, that is not bad at all, folks. That's pulling 95 watts. We're not pulling. That is getting 95 watts of juice into this power station. 90, 96 watts now. And again, this is only a 120 watt panel. That is fantastic. 95 watts out of this panel. I tested a panel two days ago that was a 200 watt panel that I was only getting 125 watts out of. 95 watts out of that thing, that's pretty remarkable. Now let me show you what the difference is if I actually use the kickstands at this time of day. So actually having the two, only two kickstands isn't a huge deal. It's not, it's not as flimsy as I thought that it would, that it would be. Yeah, so with but changing that, I'm only getting 30 watts. If we can get that on camera. 27. Okay, so now we're laying it this way and it's pulling. Ah. We're getting 81-ish watts. One watts. So folks, that went from a high I got when I first tested it to around 95 watts, 94 watts. Now I'm getting around 82 watts off of this 120 watt panel. To make myself sane, I'm going to test out this 200 watt panel and see how many watts I can get because it's the exact same sun. Let's see how many watts this big panel will give me. 127 watts for a 200 watt panel here. Let me show you. hundred and twenty six watts and this will take up to hundred and sixty watts of solar yeah still at hundred twenty six watts so moral of the story is that hundred twenty watt panel was giving me let's say an average of eighty eight watts between eighty and ninety five so eighty five to ninety watts of juice two hundred watt panels giving me hundred twenty seven watts I am shocked at how well that little hundred twenty watt panel is doing so kudos to that little panel. That one gets my recommendation. I like that panel. That's a lot of wattage coming out of a 120 watt panel in a very small package. Let me show you the size difference. So here we have the 120 watt panel. Over there we have the 200 watt panel. Again, let's say this thing gave me 90 watts on average. That one's given me 127 watts on average. I like this panel. It's a good panel. Let's go inside. It's hot. Well, we're back in the garage now in the shade, a little bit cooler, and there's nothing left much to say that you did not see on that test. 
This is a very good panel. I, I do recommend this thing. So out of all of the panels that I've tested, this has given me the best results out of a 120 watt panel. I can't quantify it, but it just, it feels like it's a quality made product. It's got some heft to it. It's about 12 pounds. The canvas on the outside is very rough, but again, in a good way. So it's gonna hold up to a lot of moving it around and, and whatnot, I guess is the best way to put it. But just long story short, it feels good in the hands. It feels like it's well-made. And to get 80 to 95 watts out of a 120 watt panel, I'll take that all day long. And again, that's the best results that I've had out of any panel that I've tested. So I'm gonna use this one for sure myself on some tests and some real camping trips here in the near future. But I like to give you guys these options. And so far, this little guy right here has very much surprised me. I'm very happy with the performance of this thing. So there you go, guys. There's their solar panel review for this Elecanta 120 watt ETFE mono crystalline solar panel. So thanks for watching, folks. Stay tuned and we'll see you soon. Thanks.